Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by today's title, we are going to be reacting to season three, episode four of Heartstopper. Um, the title of this episode is Journey. Sorry, I'm still not calm down from the last episode. Um, I'm really enjoying this season so far. I knew I would. Obviously, it's a lot harder to kind of watch. I mean, the first two seasons, obviously, had its moments. It was definitely not an easy ride by any means. Um, but yeah, this one hits a little harder, as I know of quite a lot of us were expecting. But um, yeah, I'm excited to jump into this episode, I think. <laughs> Could be a re could be a difficult one. I mean, it's called Journey. I think for a lot of us who have read the graphic novels, I think we know what's gonna happen, like what's coming. But yeah, um, I'm excited to just jump straight into it, guys. <laughs> Don't look that enthusiastic, but I am. I promise. <laughs> Just, just a little scared at the same time, but you know, it's a part of the journey. Um, but yeah, if you are enjoying these reactions, guys, make sure to head over to the Patreon. My full unedited reactions go live over there before you see them here on YouTube. Um, and yeah, big shout out to everyone already over there and supporting me. You guys are the best. And yeah, let's jump into season three, episode four of Heartstopper. It's been a long two months. Have you done any journaling? <laughs> I love these two. More for this friendship, please. You know that saying, things get worse before they get better? I think I understand that now. Great. Thanks for that. He said he hates going to the doctors. I mean, who enjoys going to the doctors? Especially for something like this. I love how we're, we're like seeing it from Nick's point of view though. His eating oh, disorder please. got worse. Can you just stop trying? Oh my gosh. You can talk to us, child. This is a lot. And he's been ignoring him. God, guys, this episode's gonna be rough. And you know, he told me he used to self harm. It's okay. I just feel so shit all the time. I read up about it online as well. It said you had to make them feel cared for and not judge them. It's so interesting. I like how we're... I like how we're seeing it from this, like, angle. Like, the way they've done it is really cool. Oh, here we go! This is the what I was talking about. Guys. Oh. oh. This song, please. Did it say Tom O'Dell? I tried to keep myself busy. Driving test. What are we doing, babes? <laughs> I don't know how to drive. Why are we driving on the other side of the road, King? <laughs> I know I'm not one to judge. As I said, I don't drive, but come on. We're not in America, Nicholas. <laughs> Where's Charlie been? He's missed like the last four practices. Oh, we got this scene. Love it. I just can't really talk place, about it. Yeah. Oh, good mate. Yeah, we're here for you. Oh, Sai, Christian, and Otis, Kings. Love it. Face masks. Love it. What about board games? 
Oh there my we. god, look! Look at the material. I love it. Does he have access to a Blu ray player? At oh, all? they're so yeah, cute. What's a Blu ray player? I don't know what, what? Blu ray is. <sighs> I'm so glad. Oh my god! <laughs> the material. Look at it. Come on, Captain America. Is this the Winter Soldier costume or not? What what costume is it? I should know this. What do you have to say to your boyfriend Charlie Spring? Billy. Well, you had it here first, folks. Nick Nelson loves Charlie Spring. Okay, that's great. <laughs> oh. I've not seen Donnie Darko. <laughs> Is him Isaac supposed to be like he kinda looks a bit like Colin Bridgerton? But I've guys, no spoilers for Bridgerton, please. I've not started season two yet. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking re oh, Imogen. I'm allowed to experiment. Imogen. Oh my god, no, this is too much. Are we a bit waved? How many beers have you had? Oh, bless him. This is such good development. Remember in season one when he chucked the, <laughs> the rugby ball at his head? At his back, I mean. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I love it. <laughs> this is so fucking sweet. How is an angel? Well, next year I'm gonna make you go as Spider Man. Yes! Is never gonna work on me. Yeah! Even if I go as Mary Jane. Take that back, Charlie Spring. We need to do that. Yeah. No, I don't. I've had this rant before. I don't like MJ. Like Mary Jane MJ. So I have anorexia and OCD. Oh. Was in my head about food, and if I don't follow them, I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh my god! I have to laugh about it, or I'll just cry. That is my motto in life as well, guys. I relate too much to Charlie. Still not sure if Tori likes me. She likes you. I think. <laughs> Oh, they got them cheese. I've been dying to tell ya. I've been dying to tell ya. Oh, it's cold. Look at, look at the buddy. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> what am I trying to say? You can see the breath. The fuck? Wait! Can we just pause? There's so much fucking going on. He did his driver's test. Oh, this happened. Darcy, that, that. Him and Tao hugged. Very cute. Oh my god, we're in Charlie's perspective. My therapist said I should write about it in my journal. Oh, this is 
It's fucking rough, babes. From what I've read online, some people come out of these places even worse than when they went in. Because they just get treated like shit. I didn't get treated like shit. It's also where I met Jeff. <laughs> Jeff! Eddie Marsden, right? I had to do a bit of research on good old Eddie me. But I find out he's actually Marvel as well. Of course he is. Why not? Uh, only pretty briefly, I think, in Deadpool 2. I know you can do it, Charlie. Come on. I think a part of me didn't even want to get better. Big up, Susan. I thought food was something I could control. But it was the other way around. Yeah. But I was still feeling so horrible. And I didn't want him to worry. Bless him. <sighs> Your eating disorder is connected to obsessions and compulsion. Eating the right thing at the right time and in the right circumstances. But he's getting up. That's good. Have to change it. Oh, he's got Nick's jumper on. He's been wearing them. He's my favourite. <laughs> Your friends are quite annoying. What? <laughs> And I had no idea. I was good at hiding it. But I missed it. He's gonna blame himself, I knew it. Maybe? Oh, we're gonna get Nick's point of view from it. Like, are we gonna get Nick telling Charlie now about that? And he wants to hear it from Tao as well. Okay. I think I see what's going on. In this video, he'll feel like he's been here the whole time. Because, in a metaphorical way, he has. Metaphorical. Tala doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Not the mini microphone as well. That the interviewers use. Sometimes. I read the song of Achilles, like you suggested. Don't spoil! He said it was going to have a sad ending. Don't spoil it! Don't spoil! Don't spoil! Don't spoil! Don't spoil! Don't spoil! Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. I'm not ready yet. It's on the shelf. I hope that when you get back, you don't feel like you have to lie to us anymore. Because yeah. you don't. Oh, what a sweet boy. Hot off the press, guys. Barbie and Oh my God, they're going for it. Oh, okay. Hi, Charlie. Hi. I just wanted to let you know that I'm trying out they, them pronouns. Slay! I love. I'm so happy. I don't know if you have a phone in there, Charlie, but I think he'd like to hear your voice. Oh, look at his little face. Hi, <laughs> there's a spare seat waiting for you for when you get back. It's like 20 seats in there, babes. I get what you were saying, but... Tao, you can leave now. Like Whoa! Cool, but if this turns out really good, then I'm The leaves it. as well. It's already really good. What are you talking about? Guys, this is going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a documentary. Well, that's the point, I think. Okay, vloggers. Um, we've got a lot planned. Do we? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Why is this making me laugh so much though? I hope that this video makes you feel loved. Yeah. By the way, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> Stop! D y d yeah, shut up. Isaac, don't fucking spoil it for me, babes. Hi, Charlie. His little face. 
why does Kit just make me want to cry all the time? Like, genuinely just makes me want to cry. We can carry on our sessions once a week for as long as you need. Yes. <clears throat> I'm proud of our, our king. You are going to be all right. Thank you. Just trust yourself, yeah? Right, kicking you out now. Okay. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> I'm joking. <sighs> Maybe I won't ever get back to normal. The what casting they did, I know it's been okay, three but... seasons now, but I'm still going to talk about it. Casting is on point. Because they genuinely do look related. Jenny and Joe. Do I have time to go and say hi to Nick? I'll be back for dinner, I, I promise. Okay. <laughs> go on then. Fuck it, eh? <laughs> we got a chuckle as well! Get out the party streamers. Get them out. <laughs> party poppers, party streamers, whatever the fuck. Get them all out, mate. Can we hug? What? Why are we just staring at each other? Come on. There's a lot of crying this season, isn't there already? Crying out loud. <laughs> oh my god. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, mental health or thoughts of SH, information and resources are available at wannatalkaboutit.com. I'm... If I remember to, oh my god, wait, let me just play it a little bit. Because the credits, oh my god, shut up, pause. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? If I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna really try and remember to leave links as well in the description on Patreon and on YouTube um of like mental health spaces and stuff that you can go to and um i know shout is a text service i've used it in the past um and i'll leave the stuff i don't know if it'll be different in places like in other countries and stuff um but i'll try and my best to leave some stuff like that down below in the description of both like i said patreon and youtube videos um guys that episode was quite a rough one um i'm really impressed with the way that episode was shot and i thought it was really interesting that we got it from like nick's sort of like diary entries and then we kind of jumped over to charlie's like diary entries like his pov on it um I thought it was really well done actually. I really liked the way they did that episode. Um, and I can't wait to jump into the next one. Love that, um, I mean, yeah, Darcy, they, them pronouns now. Obviously, as I said before, um, I believe Kizzy goes by he, they. Um, love the mullet, love it. I just need to say that, really cool. Um, really suits really suits Darcy and Kizzy of course um but yeah really likes this episode again it's really important and I'm glad even though I had that little breakdown last episode at the end of that um and kind of going into this one as much as it's hard to see this sort of thing on screen I think it's important because it kind of shows people like myself in ways that we're not alone um a lot of us go through a lot of shit and it's hard like life is just hard and it's harder for some more than others but um you like you're never alone and i think that's a part an important thing to remember and i think that's something that alice has always managed to capture really well like with the way um they write and like she just the way she does everything is just 
incredible when it comes to like the sexuality stuff when it comes to just difficult topics i think alice is just incredible at finding ways to word things in a really um like gentle kind of way and a real like really real kind of way um so I just really respect and appreciate Alice just for giving us this world in general and for just giving us a space where we all feel loved and accepted and appreciated and all that stuff and yeah I'm excited to jump into the next episode anyway guys um if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new don't forget to check me out on Patreon. My full unedited reactions will be live over there before you see them here on YouTube, as always. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.